Uh, let's bring in Education Minister Stephen Lecce. Always great to chat. Thanks for joining us. So let's get right into it. Let's talk about some of those changes. Yeah, I mean, there's a significant amount of reform we're bringing forth this school year. I think the first principle is that we're getting back to basics. I want parents to know we are refocusing Ontario's education system on building foundational skills. Reading, writing, and math and STEM disciplines, that's what matters most. So we put in place a strategy. We've invested $180 million. We're hiring 2,000 additional educators focused on reading and math. And for the first time in Ontario history, we have a new accountability framework on school boards that will now include binding metrics that we can measure success to drive improvement when it comes to EQAO data, reading, math, and language assessments and improvements, and really getting back to those basics when it comes to STEM. We also have a new curriculum, Jamie, which I'm excited to tout, cursive writing, financial literacy, personal budgeting, phonics, critical thinking, digital literacy skills. These are now all part of the mandatory learning in Ontario schools. It's going to go a long way to building those life and job skills uh, for the next generation of, of leaders in the country. Yeah, you know, we're just days away from the start of the school, and obviously your government has been in uh, negotiations right now. We heard of the latest uh, update on Friday regarding the OSSTF. Where are things at right now when it comes for first off secondary school students? Um, do you anticipate that a deal is going to get done and there's not going to be disruptions uh, for students? Well, stability for students is what matters most. We owe it to these kids after years of difficulty to come together and rally behind them to provide a path to peace. We've put in place uh, a strategy which has received a tentative agreement of the OSSTF executive to essentially continue negotiating in good faith and then to turn outstanding issues by October 27th to an interest arbitration system. It ensures stability. It keeps kids in school. It allows them to learn, to get back to basics, to benefit from those new, that new curriculum, those new 2,000 educators. But none of that matters unless we have stability. And so we've offered the same proposal to the other unions. We're meeting with two of the three outstanding teacher unions this week. The third we'll meet with next week. As I've said, we need to get on with this. Let's meet. Let's put the interests of kids first. Let's agree to this incredibly fair offer that allows us to negotiate but allows a third-party independent arbitration system to help resolve all those outstanding issues because this allows these kids to keep learning it allows the government and the unions to keep negotiating but it does avert a strike and that's the priority of the government and the premier to protect the in-person learning experience for children in Ontario the uh, three other unions they issued a joint statement and part of what they said I know you were I think you were offering the same deal from the OSSTF to these other unions uh, they, they're basically saying that uh, you know this would not guarantee that many of the key issues that they're hoping to address would be met uh, if it were the same deal. What's your re reaction to that? Right. Look, they said for now, I mean, I think our interest as a government is to offer, is to extend that olive branch. We're meeting with two of three this week. We're going to present them this proposal. We're going to explain to them why we think it is fair and a win-win-win for everyone while protecting in-person learning, keeping kids in school. So, uh, you know, I'm op uh, cautiously optimistic. I appreciate in the early moments uh, you know, emotions can fly, but at the end of the day, we're talking about keeping kids in the classroom, allowing for in-person learning to continue unimpeded for three years. And for a high school kid that started last year, that means they'll be able to graduate in three years without the threat of disruption. That is a massive achievement, but I want every child to benefit, not just the public high schools. I want the English and French, Catholic and public, every child to have that stability. It's why we're investing. It's why we're hiring more educators. It's why we're going back to basics. It's why we're imposing real accountability on school boards to up their game when it comes to academic achievement. So look, I think we, we're all going to do the right thing. And we're, as a government, can continue to make the case the kids have to stay in school. It is the first principle to getting them back on track. Education Minister Stephen Lecce, we appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us on CB24 Live at Noon. Thank you.